But we've noticed that there's been some discrepancies between the numbers. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger has been looking into this for us. She joins us live. Lauren. Yeah, that's right. Local health departments have been providing us numbers on deaths and positive cases. The states have also been giving us those same numbers broken down by county. But as you mentioned, we noticed often those numbers really didn't match up at all. So, for example, earlier today, we compared the Missouri state's county by county breakdown to the numbers released by local officials and found there were 70 cases we were aware of from our region that were not yet included in the state's count. Then more recently, as this afternoon, the city of St. Louis was reporting 150 cases of COVID-19, but the state of Missouri had 136 cases in the state. Now, obviously, these numbers, they're all very fluid. The situation is very fluid. The tests come in really by the dozens throughout the day, and we're told that a lot of the labs were reporting to the counties. Some were reporting to the state, and we did want to talk with uh, officials about this today. There was a press conference at the Missouri Capitol, and the question was asked. Take a listen. What we've done now is that all testing is mandated to come into the state. That's a change. It used to come into the local health departments. But we've got tests coming in from all the providers. They are mandated to report that within 24 hours, but they can come in any time during that time. So as you heard today, there will be a change in how this is all reported on the Missouri side. We also talked to St. Louis County Executive Sam Page about this issue. He said they are working to get new technology, new software that could help them in reporting and tracking these cases and the influx of cases as they come in. Certainly, we will continue to track them as well. Reporting live in West St. Louis County, Lauren Traeger, News 4.